In this video, we will set up a lab environment with internal networking mode. Let us quickly review the network diagram. We will use the virtual machines VM11 and VM12 in this lab setup. The home network is on 192.168.1.x network. The VMs will be configured to be on 10.10.10.x network. Please take a minute to sync in with the layout before you proceed. Here is our virtual box and on the left pane, I have the machines grouped for our convenience. Here are the two VMs we will work with, VM12 and VM11, both running Fedora Linux. Let us first look at the network adapters of both the virtual machines. Network adapters are not enabled on these VMs. Let us enable the first network adapter on both the VMs, select the internal network from the drop-down and select INTNet. By the way, INTNet is a default internal network name. You can assign any name as per your needs. But VMs with the same internal network name will be on the same network. Let us start both the VMs and log in. Open a terminal and check the IP addresses on both the VMs. Well, there is no IP address. What happened? We need to enable the DHCP for the INT net network. Let us shut down these VMs. Here is a command prompt that can be used to enable DHCP for the internal network INT net. Run the command from the command prompt of the host machine. Now start both the VMs. Log in and open a terminal on both the VMs. Run if config command on both the machines. One VM received 10.10.10.2 and the other received 10.10.10.3. Check if the VMs can ping each other using the ping command. Looks good. Now let us check if we can ping www.google.com. It does not work as expected. As you have seen, building internal network is not that difficult. Virtual machines on the same internal network can communicate with each other. Virtual machines using the internal network will not have access to the internet. Well, that's it in this video. See you in the next.